Hello to everybody, and today I'm here to talk about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Earth's Last Stand. So we've made it to the somehow mid-season final, and this is basically the finale to the space arc in this show, which has been going on for quite some time. But the Triceratons have built the black hole generator, and then they're going to test it on Earth. And it's up to the turtles to take them down. And they only got one shot left. Because if they don't stop them, then Earth's gone forever. And it's putting a lot of weight on our characters. But we get a big plot twist. It is revealed as April is sensing something from the future toid. She senses something is wrong. And they ask... And Fugitoid says he wanted to wait until they got to know him better. That it turns out that Krang were not the ones that have built the black hole generator. It was the Fugitoid. And the Krang gave him, him like a bunch of money to basically just give away the black hole generator. And because Fugitoid was more greedy back then... He just said yes and didn't care what they wanted for it. And so that's why the Krang have the black hole generator. And somehow the Utrons did not know originally that the professor created it. But the turtles are shocked by this news. And they're just saying how lame he is or something. And Leo is of course frustrated. And he's like saying, this would have happened if you didn't build it in the first place. And April tries to de-escalate, saying how they, they've they been saved by the professor countless of times. And the professor tries to say that he has changed. But the turtles, especially Leo, just aren't buying it. But they are ambushed by the Triceraton mothership once they make it to the Milky Way galaxy. And Leo decides to make a big mistake... He's going to use the stealth ship to take down the mothership. And Leo, I mean, I mean, Donnie tells him it's a bad idea. But Leo does it anyway. And he tries to take down the mothership, but it just does not work out. As Leo is shot down and blasted into space. And his helmet breaks and he's about to die. As the mothership flees away. But we think Leo's about to get sucked in the air and but he is rescued at the last second but uh but the fugitory was almost screwing up while flying the ship and yeah Casey's just like saying how he's useless and the turtles also earlier were saying how the fugitory doesn't have a heart because he's a robot it just shows they were originally saying they viewed him as a person even though he was trapped in a robot body so it was kind of foreshadowing if you really think about it but uh as this is going on, Donnie restarts Leo's heart. He's able to wake up, and Raph calls him out, saying Le- leaders are supposed to be leaders because they lead a team. So, yeah, it's nice that Raph has to reassure Leo to be a leader. But as this is going on, the fellow Turtles have, have to go back to Earth. But uh, the future toy is still not trusted by them, and... And it turns out that the the events are going by really quickly, if you really think about it. Like, the Triceratons have already made it to Earth. And it's dark out, and they use the thing and assume the other events have happened. And they place the generator. And the, I, this sounds like a nitpick, but, like, I kind of think the events where they go to Earth and, like, it's already night. It, it feels like it went by too quick. Um, time travel is confusing if you really think about it. But as this is all going on, the turtles have decided to go. They must go back to Earth. And the Fugitoid decides that he must let them go. And But, like, they're still sensing something is wrong. And they almost engage with him. But the Fugitoid drops them. And he uses the tractor beam to... Let them land safely. But uh, Leo interpreted it as him just feeling guilty. But as this is going on, they only got a few seconds left. And earlier, they did witness the the turtles. Uh, the, the past turtles or the present turtles, whatever you want to call them, they get transported onto the mothership. 
And we get this dynamic where Commander Mozar is now getting confused because they're like, how did the Turtles get already get back to Earth? He doesn't realize that they have time traveled. And so, and like, he literally does still kidnap Mikey. The same events still happen. Splinter arrives and the Allies. And it leads to a big battle, but Mikey's captured and the Turtles eventually get on board. And Mikey was thinking, oh man, we've been shot down. That means... We're gone. And then Raph's like, uh, no, Mikey, we l- literally got beamed to the ship, remember? And C- Captain Mozart literally asks us if they ever know who he is. And the, turtle- the past turtles are like, we don't know who you are at all. But as this is going on, the-, the turtles have only a few seconds left before they can shut down the generator. But the past turtles and the present turtles all meet up. They're- what it- How about we just call it the present turtles and the future turtles? The ones in the spacesuits are the future turtles. But uh, they managed to make it all the way back to the generator. And they only got a few seconds left. Uh, and But as this is going on, we the thing, the infamous shredder about to stab Splinter almost happens. And Leo is almost stopped, almost stops the timer. But he sees it about to happen. But turns out Splinter was able to block Shredder's attack. And it turns out Shredder cares more about his grudge with Splinter more than saving the Earth. And we kind of already knew that at the end of Season 3. But uh, they end up getting into a fight. And while during that, Leo manages to blast the timer. And they just stopped it from, you know, doing it. And even though they tried to take down the generator back in Season 3. But, uh... Captain Mozar now figures out what has happened. The turtles have time traveled to stop it. And, the, and he's like, so I originally destroyed the planet. But it leads to a big fight between them. And the, like the tri- uh, Captain Mozar manages to t- take out most of the turtles. As, and it's cool like seeing the, the past turtles like interact with the future turtles, like, they're just like, whoa, is that us from the future or the present? And and Mikey explains what's going on. But uh, as this is going on, Captain Mozart decides he's just going to destroy the planet. And he demands a laser beam hit the planet. And But uh, the future toid, at the last second, uses the black hole generator. And he's going to make... They fought like he was just taking it for himself, but... But Donnie realizes that the only way to destroy the black hole generator is to mix it with the Triceratons' mother ship and, and like, the Future Toid's ship. So Future Toid, they realize he's sacrificing himself. That's why they got him off board. And so Future Toid redeems himself, and he shoots into the mother ship, and the ship explodes, and every, all the Triceratons are gone. Uh, and Captain Mozart did make it back on the command ship, before but uh yeah and uh while this, that was all going on splinter manages to take out shredder in the most badass way he manages to break his arms and uh shredder's like saying how splinter's the monster and then splinter's like you're the tr- you're the only monster is you sucky and he manages to take out shredder and tiger claw comes and picks up shredder says you've won this time but we'll be back so yeah, the Foot Clan don't care about saving the Earth. They just want to be the bad guys, basically. But as that is all going on, the, the Turtles have this interaction with their past selves. And so yeah, it's wild. And uh, April interacts with her, April, her past self. And then they're like, oh, it'd be nice to have a sister. And Casey's like, mm, there's no room for two Casey Joneses. But uh, if something comes out of nowhere, it's revealed to be another future toy. Because the present one sacrificed himself. That means there's a, a past future toy. And he has offered them to go on a journey to in outer space. In and outer so, space. And so these turtles go with him in April and Casey. And that's the last we ever see of those turtles. So this is kind of a pothole. I don't know if this is an issue I have, but like we never figure out what happens to those turtles, like what happened to the their past selves that they time traveled with. And like even though Splinter does a ha- ha- he does have a heart to heart with like present and future, they still go off. And uh 
And yeah, and Slash is like, this is probably the weirdest thing that's happened. And they and Splinter wants to ask them if they can they love to hear more stories, but Leo says he wants he needs to sleep after a long day of an adventure in space. And I don't know how I have two photos on here, but uh Sorry, but uh, we do see it's revealed that the Future Toy's head does turn back on. But that we never see Future Toy ever again in the show since that was his big sacrifice. So yeah, I always wondered what happened to those past turtles in the past Future Toy. Like, where were they? And we do see, late spoilers, we do see the return of Mona Lisa and Lord Dreg, but we, we don't know what happened to them. But I will have to wait and see for... The last space arc in this show. But uh, this episode was really good. It was really fast paced. It had a lot of good redemption. Sacrifice and lessons along the way. And yeah. It was definitely an impactful episode. Even though we kind of did know. They were going to save the earth anyway. But it was still a really good episode. I give it like a 9 out of 10. Or 10. I don't know. But uh, this is definitely one of the more memorable episodes. For sure. Even though it kind of does feel like a finale, even though it's not, we don't we, the finale is we're def, I'm definitely gonna be super excited to talk about. But uh, anyway, I'm excited to talk about the next few episodes of the show of the last few of season four since the turtles are now back on Earth finally. But I might as well say my overall thoughts in the space arc of the show. I do like it. I do like how the turtles explore new worlds and they can explore the wackier side of the turtles universe. Even though we don't get the regular villains. And we, we get introduced to newer characters. Which is cool. And I really like the dynamic between the future toy. The turtles. It's sad that he's gone. But like hey he had a great sacrifice. With the... Yeah it was fun seeing the turtles go on adventures. Armagon was cool. Lord Drag I was iffy about. But uh, overall the space arc was really fun and memorable for this show. It was definitely different from like the comics. And they do pay homage to that space arc in the show but uh this is definitely a f- fun for sure so uh the next episode i don't know what it's called but like it's where the turtles are back on earth but uh anyway thanks for watching and turtle power